Hello guys, in projects with roles and permissions, typical behavior is this. Some administrator assigns the role to users and that role contains all the permissions inside. But what if you want to assign the user some permissions on top of their role? For example, like this. You may trust some specific person to be not only the editor, but also, for example, manage the settings like this. You update the user and then you assign permissions so they are editor and also see the menu items of page settings, for example. Let me show you how it works with the package Spotty Laravel permissions. So here's what happens in the database. We have roles table, then we have permissions table and then typically what you have is role has permissions pivot table like this but what i have added with those checkboxes is model has permissions so permission id is granted to model type user with model id 2. this code is a follow-up to a previous video on my channel about roles and permissions from wordpress and if you haven't seen that i will link that in the description below so we added that functionality of using permissions like this in the edit form of user controller will load all the possible permissions for the checkboxes and then in the users edit we have our checkbox component our own blade component and it is checked the checkbox is checked if user permissions contains that permission id those permissions come from spotty package and then in the update method of that controller we don't just sync roles again this is spotty package function but also sync permissions from that array of checkbox and this is why when you check the permission, you should check for permission and not the role. So gate authorize update user or for example, who can even see that item of user management. For example, here on the left users index is authorized to view permission of user class. And if we go to sidebar, that menu item is also visible to view user class, which is resolved by policy. So there's user policy and this method decides whether it's true or false and this is has permission users view and here spotty package checks whether that permission is assigned directly in model has permissions as we did now or via role with user has roles and role has permissions the main thing here as spotty package authors say in the documentation it's better to check can like we're doing here can update can view list can do something in both blade and in the controller instead of doing has role directly and also want to show you how automated tests work then in the user factory we have methods like admin and editor and others assigning the role after creating but also a method with permissions to assign the permissions that we may want to pass as a parameter and then for example in the test about page settings whether someone can access that we have this method admin can open page settings page but not only admin we use past data sets function here to launch the same test on multiple data cases so one data case is creating the admin but also another case is creating the editor but with permissions for specifically that settings view and then the same pattern is repeated in other methods with permissions here and then also in the crud actions test of for example posts method can view posts in the list admin editor or author with permissions so yeah this is how you would assign permissions on top of roles and this thing by the way this mini admin panel is built on top of our laravel daily starter kit which is free it's a community starter kit and i would advise to try it out i will link that in the description below and also if you want to know more about roles and permissions in Laravel, recently I've reshot a video version of the course Roles and Permissions, updated to Laravel 12. It's one hour long video course now with text-based version and the repositories, of course, covering two projects. First is the overview simple case with Gates policies and Spotty package. And then the second one, which I'm pretty proud of, is this is the video version. And then in the text version, we implement roughly this project with clinic management with multiple roles teams and permissions that could be described in this matrix of roles and permissions pretty complex real life scenario so if you want to get that with the repository and all the explanations i will link the full course in the description below that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos